What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of 210 Tech. Today I'm gonna show you a CMOS battery hack. So if you have a CMOS battery like this uh, for your laptop that you need to change, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first we're gonna need a few things. Now you're gonna need some electrical tape, this heat shrink. Now this heat shrink, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, but stay tuned for that and a pack of batteries. Now this pack of batteries I got from the dollar store. Uh, two pack, you guessed it, a dollar. So if you go out and buy one of these, it's gonna run you about eight to 10 bucks. Now I don't mind paying eight to 10 bucks, but I couldn't find what I needed um, off of Amazon. I needed this right away. So we're gonna go ahead and hack this out. So the first thing we're gonna do here is cut this battery open. Now you wanna be careful when taking this battery, taking this casing off. Let me get this out before I go any further. See right here, this is a conduit tape or conductive tape. We're gonna use this same tape for um, the new battery. So be careful and not to kind of gunk this up or destroy this when you're uh, coming in with your blade, trying to uh, get off this, uh, all this plastic here. I actually went to, uh, to Lowe's to try to find this tape and they looked at me like I was crazy, like that thing didn't exist, this tape does not exist. Um, so anyway, I still, I didn't want to pay whatever, five, 10 bucks for this specialty tape. So we're going to go ahead and use this right here. So red positive, black negative. So we're going to take our new battery. Now, very carefully, we're going to take off this tape here. All right, so I got the wiring off. That's how that looks there. See if I can get a better angle of that. See, this one came out good and this one kind of broke off a little bit, but still usable. So red is positive, black is negative. So we're gonna take our piece of um, electrical tape here we're gonna put that on and we're gonna start with our positive here. See if I can get in there a little bit. It's kind of hard to see where I'm at, but just throw that positive on there. And on the opposite side, just throw that negative. See if I can do this here. Now I'm gonna throw another little piece of um, electrical tape here.
And that's going to be pretty much it. I was going to throw this heat shrink, but it would, it's too small, so it won't go over it. So what I am going to do is take my heat gun and just heat it up a little bit. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, you have a hair dryer or something like that, that'll work. Or you can just leave it as is, but I just want those contacts not to end up coming out. And I don't think it will, but just, you know, just give it a added layer. Just like that, you don't you, you don't want to give it too much because you risk burning something in here. So it's just a little bit. All right, so there it is, brand new CMOS battery. Now this would cost you about eight bucks to twenty bucks, depending on your laptop. And I bought a two pack for one dollar. So I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching 210 Tech. Check you on the next one.